Kingsley D here. Welcome to Kingsland. Today I'm here with a new Paul Reed Smith McCarty, otherwise known as Private Stock 5644. It's the product of a couple of years of experimentation with Craig from CR Guitars trying to find the ideal Paul Reed Smith for players like us, players who have been around vintage Fenders and Gibsons, who play in kind of a pop jazz style more than a, so than a heavy style. And Paul's promise has always been a guitar that you can pick up and use for anything on a gig. I think this one finally delivers as far as Craig and I are concerned. The other big deal about this guitar for my purposes is the two volume controls, which is something David Grissom introduced on a regular double cutaway PRS shaped guitar. And like David, I love to mine that middle position and a lot of what I'll play today is, will be in that position to illustrate the versatility of this kind of setup. Okay, the first thing I'd like to go through is some of the clean sounds and we'll start with the middle position, both pickups on. Where I like to begin with messing around in the middle position is to take off since we're playing a little bit of a rhythm thing. Let's dial out just a little bit of the bridge pickup, maybe down to eight or so, and we'll do that same thing. That's a nice sound for kind of funk rhythm playing, um, a little bright and brassy. Let's take off just a little bit more of the bridge pickup, down to maybe uh, six or so. One of my secret tricks with the two pickup thing is to dial the keep the bridge pickup full I mean keep the neck pickup full open and dial the bridge pickup all the way back to one to, to where things just start to come on. What you get is a really warm but a little bit transparent and it's a pretty low level so sometimes you have to goose it somewhere else. But you get a really nice jazz faux jazz tone, which even on a solid body is pretty workable for me. If you need just a little bit more volume, you can run the bridge up to about two and you get a little more oomph and a little more clarity, but still a really nice warm tone. Nice tone that works well for leads and for chords, you know. So, beautiful sound and one I use a lot of the time. Now let's go the other direction, we'll bring the bridge pickup back up all the way and let's knock off just a little bit of the neck pickup. Uh, we'll try the same thing, roll the bridge pickup back. Let's go all the way down to two and see what happens. So there you go. Just for comparison purposes, let's do bridge alone. And we'll 
do the neck alone too. Okay, now we're going to dive into crunchier lead kinds of sounds. I've got a fuzz box on and we'll start with both pickups, middle position, everything wide open. Once again, we'll back off the, or this time we'll back off the neck just a little bit so it's a little stronger on the bridge. Okay, and then bridge pickup only. Now we'll do the same thing with the neck pickup with the bridge rolled off to about seven or eight. Now that I've gone through some of the different sounds you can get out of this nice two volume system. I'm going to put it in context and play a little tune. Enjoy and thanks for watching. Thank you.